of scary. Hey! Hi! <laughs> we're back. This is the second episode of Until Dawn, and we're doing a switcheroo what because Monica's guys, playing. Guys, yes, I'm yeah, playing. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us We out? only played for a couple please? minutes after the last episode. So you didn't really miss anything. So you didn't miss a whole lot. Basically, um, oh those are the two first people God. up, and they I got stuck in that. Honest. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thanks, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. So muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. <laughs> my goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um, I usually click explain, but... I wonder what happens if I click insist. I've never done that. You want to? Yeah. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. For Mike! Ooh. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car Okay, ends? these are the characters that are going to get introduced now. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I hate her, by the way. I don't think she's it would have been like as pretty. Or she's just mean. She's like, she's, kind she's of really rude. mean. This guy's not really mean. Motivated, ambitious, active. Isn't she rude? And where's she's the really rude. when you need one? She's extremely rude. Okay, so I'm playing as the guy Matt. It's 1024. Why get there so late? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Be weird. Oh, I'm eating yeah, a candy heart. <laughs> I'm eating a lollipop right now, so that's why. Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. It's like the same exact things they used to describe Emily. And but he's not a jerk. <laughs> you guys. Well, she's a little bit of a jerk. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked Just a little. Just now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm kind of positioning. Guys, we're all friends here, right? Camera shaking. No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Welcome to woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I'll be nice about Michael. it. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. Alright, see ya. What do you wanna be ya? Just joking. <laughs> oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, I'll go. Because I'm a pushover. Fine. Fine. 
If it's so important, I guess I can pack horses the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Why would she go by herself? Because she's weird, I guess. This is Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Ten thirty-two p.m. It's letting me look around with these. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Yeah, that's Mike and Emily being real friendly with each other. Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. Hey, sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it's... Let me check it out. No. It's busted. I swear. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. I've never said insist before, so I'm gonna say it. Um, no, really, Matt. It's not restraining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from yeah. looking through it. So Big just decision. no, no. All right. Um, uh, sure. You say so. Because here's the thing. If Matt sees them flirting with each other he's gonna get mad yeah. and i've seen what happens when he gets like mad like he'll get he gets all mad at mike and he's like stay away from my girl and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i'm just wondering what will happen between ashley and matt if i say no so let's just see what happens now check phone why would she do it well i guess if you want to do it I've always said read book for some reason but this time i'll check the phone <laughs> you did not just do that Put your hand where I can see her. We've got you surrounded. Mike and Jessica. For who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab Snowball. <laughs> this part's fun. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from hmm. me, Michael. There's I some foreshadowing there. Tricks. I'm not gonna throw it at the bird, or else nature will come to get me. <laughs> and it does actually end up happening. I do want to throw a snowball at him, though. Right. <laughs> and then what? Oh, no more. Oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. Ah, what's up with the music? Gotcha. Done. Done city. So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So, are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Grab snowball. <laughs> ah! I've done both before, but it's kind of funny there in this way. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I 
I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, with three E's. <laughs> Okay, now I go back to the cable car. Oh, now we're back to yeah, here. We're back here. Hello again. Dr. Hill. And how are we feeling? The creepy guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends our last session. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to make a decision or something. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set. I like this part. It's fun. I do like this. Choosing between these things. Men worry me. Women worry me. <laughs> I think um, I've chosen both, but... Mm, uh, I'm gonna say women. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I was thinking woman, too. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Planes. Crowds. I'll say crowds. Crowds. <laughs> it's kind of fun, this part. Yeah, it almost kind of determines what happens later. I fear heights. I fear drowning. I'm gonna say I fear drowning. Snakes scare me. I'm gonna say rats scare me. Just cause that might be interesting later. Guns or knives? Well, <laughs> guns are scarier than knives. Yes. That's just obvious. <laughs> Rats or cockroaches. I'm gonna say rats again, just because I wonder what's gonna happen if I keep saying rats. <laughs> rats are gonna come and get you. Not again. <laughs> I know, they probably will. Clowns or scarecrows. Clowns are way more scary. Scarecrows, oh, yeah. like, cover their face and you can't see anything, so clowns. Yeah, definitely clowns are scarier. I like clowns though. I've never been one of those people who like who are like really scared of clowns. You know, I know there's a lot of people who are really scared of clowns. I've never been really scared of cl of clowns for some reason. I'm gonna say crows, even though they're not, because I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh. Did I startle you? Is that yes, you did startle me. You're doing very well. Dumping up. Try to. You. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. I, I've said spiders many times before, but I'm gonna keep saying rats. It's not that rats actually scare me, but it, every time I've always said like spiders. I'm not gonna say crows, I'm gonna say needles, because I think that might be more interesting. Oh, I gotta do the touch screen thing. Zombies or clowns? Clowns are scarier than zombies. So I'm gonna say clowns. Okay. Needles or dogs? Dogs. <laughs> Who fears dogs? <laughs> Some people are just scared of dogs because they have bad experiences with dogs. I know. There's a girl at school. At, there's a girl I went to school with. She was afraid of dogs. I I couldn't stand that girl. <laughs> I'm gonna say needles. Needles or storms? Storms, I guess. This is very interesting. So the metronome just stops when Thank he you. puts his pen to it. Thunderstorm. <laughs> the 
some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Jeez, he's creepy. So that was episode one. All right. Well, that's... Yep, that is. All right. Well, I hope you guys continue on because this is a very skippet of the very bit. And we What's will go on, on to the next one. Yeah. Can. So, bye. Bye. <laughs>